feels good. Good speed. That's you. How did that happen? <laughs> so I just pulled up to the course. I'm still waiting here on Jacob. Our tea time's coming up soon though, so he's always running late, but I hope he gets Hello. it. Whoa! How did you get in here? <laughs> I snuck in here last night. I have a spare key of yours. What? Hey guys, welcome back to another up and down golf video. We're here at Avalon Golf Course in Knoxville. This is one of our favorite courses when the conditions are nice, but... The conditions are bad right now. Well, some of the greens. Some of the greens are filled with sand. So the ball doesn't really roll well, it just hops around. Yeah, but other than that, it's a beautiful course. We love coming out here still. So uh, we're gonna play stroke play today and see how low we can shoot. Yeah, I mean, I've been hitting it well on the driving range. It's one of our favorite courses in terms of design and layout, if they just took better care of it. Yep, so it's gonna be a fun day today and uh, we'll have a good video for you coming out. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so Nick will be playing the blue tees from 6,700 yards and I'll be playing the white from 6,300. All right, first hole here for Nick, par four, playing 430 yards from the tips. He's hitting a driver. Right side of the fairway, looks like it's gonna get over the hill, which means it's about to roll forever. He's gonna have a nice shot in here. Jacob's playing the white tees. It's uh, about 380 from here. He has driver as well. Smoked down the left side. That's gonna bounce off the hill up there. Yeah, that'll be perfect too. Let's go. So we're about even distance from the pin, about 145. It plays a little downhill, but we're into the wind. Jacob's gonna hit seven iron. Yeah, I caught that really poorly. Didn't hit it well. He's well short and to the right. The hole up here is surrounded by uh, bunkers. Don't want to miss shorter left. No, and, and the flag's at the very front, so he'd rather be long. What are you hitting? Like an eight, nine? Nine. Nick's going to hit a nine iron here. Did I get over the bunker? It's on, but it's way right at the pin. Tough chip coming up for Jacob. He's got to go over the bunker, and the pin's pretty close to the front of the green. Got across. That is not bad. Just rolls out to the back of the green. I'm sure he'll be happy with that shot though. So Nick here has a long way. Uh, he just got done stepping it off. How far was it? Uh, 47 feet. 47 feet. So he knows to swing exactly 68% on his putter. It's going over a hill, breaking right to left. It's gonna be a delicate putt. I'll be happy if this one's close. I'll be happy for you if it's close. That's way hard. Yeah, way too hard. Hit the pin, right over the pin. Oh, Why did I hit that so hard? I don't know. He's about the uh, same, same with me. I don't know why I hit that putt so hard, but we still got about 12 feet, 15 feet maybe to save par. It's going to break left to right, maybe a little uphill. Just left it low. He'll tap in for bogey. All right, so Nick here has about the same putt I just had. A little bit more to the to the right. I don't know. It looks pretty straight uphill. Yeah, he left it out there. Not much in that putt. He'll uh, tap in there for. Is that a, a par? Bogey. Tap in for par or bogey. <laughs> Three putt on the first. Nick's feeling it. Great start. Heat check. I have a short par four here on the second hole. It's playing 336 yards from the tips. Nick is hitting a hybrid, three hybrid, I believe. Four hybrid? Three. Three hybrid. It's just straight away. I mean, you have bunkers on the left, right side of the fairway. It's a tight hole, short hole. It's going right at that bunker on the right. Probably gonna be short though. What do you think? I don't know. He didn't see that it. should be okay. 
right at 300 for Jacob. He's gonna take driver. Very aggressive. And he smashes it. That's going basically right at my line, but it'll be a lot further than me. In the right bunker. Oh, he landed in the bunker. So Nick has a bit of an awkward lie here, kind of coming down the hill towards the drain. 107. 107 yards, probably hitting a uh, 52 degree. Pins in the center of the green. Oh, right, right to the left of it, that was pretty. Looks like a good distance. Kick to the left a little bit, but he's gonna have, I don't know, 20 feet for birdie. Jacob's unfortunately in the bunker. He's got about 76 yards to the pin. Very thin. It's gonna hit the back of the hill. It might come down though. It didn't. No, it didn't. Look at the gentleman fixing his spot in the bunker. You love to see it. I got black snow. Jacob definitely has a tough chip coming up. He's trying to figure out where he wants to land it. It might be off the green, honestly, where you want to land it and let it roll out. The green slopes straight downhill. <laughs> to do oh just by the hole he landed it exactly where he wanted to and it's still like 20 feet past the hole Jacob's not gonna be coming back up the hill this would be to save par wow. stayed out to the right All right, you go ahead. I'm gonna look this up. so Nick here has about the same distance as I did um, uphill looks like his brakes to the right I'll try not to put it 20 feet past on this putt. Keyword there, try. Is this a Swatson guarantee? Swatson guarantee. Ooh. I just left it 20 feet short. <laughs> Good night. I think he's out there. We'll let him play that one. Nice. Is that par? Yeah. What a par save. Jacob now to save bogey. Just about three or four feet. Oh, left it out. Double. So we have a beautiful par three on the, the third hole. Bunker's covering the front. It's playing 150, or it's 155 yards long, playing 147, eight yards downhill. I think Nick will probably hit an eight iron. Nine iron. Pins at the back, so you want to be short here. Right at it to the left. Jeez. Go that way. I mean, he's got another 20 wow. feet for birdie, so it's still rolling, but wow. I'm happy with that. Yeah. 130 for Jacob. It's playing about 123. He's going to hit nine iron. I just got a tough look at it. He's way down there at the bottom of the hill. Very elevated shot. It's got to slow down. That's going to come off the hill. Oh, that's a good shot. I don't think that's how he drew it up, but it'll work. That was tough. That's it? Yeah. Shut up. That's you. How did that <laughs> it hit the hill and rolled back down. <laughs> oh, a little short. Bottom of the line. We'll never know. See if I can make my par putt here. This would be an excellent par save if you can knock this one in. I might start putting like this. How's it going? Like I would not change your putting grip right now. No, I'm not going to change it like right now. But do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're doing they with do your this. hands. They do this. Wait, you're not. Oh, we left it short. Tap in for bogey. So this is the par fourth. So this is the par four fourth. From the tips, it's playing 390 where Nick's hitting from. Uh, you have a landing zone up there. It's a complete dog leg to the left. If you're smart and good, you might want to aim over that hill a little bit. Probably where? Try to take it over the tree. Yeah, or exactly where Nick's going. We'll see this beautiful shot. You hit it right at the tree. It's lower than the tree. It got through. Oh, it, hurt, it hit something at the very end, but I think it's gonna be perfectly fine. Nick somehow always manages to hit through that tree. I think last time he hit 
right at it and it somehow went right through and it. It was perfect. Dead into it. <laughs> this might happen again. Working. We'll see. I heard it hit something, but we'll see. So my tee box was actually like 4.30. Uh, Jacob's is 4.06. I think he's going to be a little less aggressive than I was. Oh, that was pulled way left. Jacobs came down, we found it. He still got about close to 200 to the pin, but he's just gonna chip out. It's gonna roll down the hill. I think that'll be fine. So Nick's ball did hit a tree, probably one of those eight trees, rolled down the hill here. He's got 210 left. My guess is he hits a, a three hybrid. A four iron, he said. I don't know, the wind's into us, Nick. Behind us. The wind's into us, straight into our face. I have chapped lips that's blowing so hard in our face. Looks like he hit behind the ball there. Did it roll up on there? Short. Short, yeah. I mean, you can see the div a little bit behind. Jacob's perfectly in the fairway. Uh, he's got 131 to the pin, playing just a little uphill. He's going to hit a 7 iron. Top, top, top of the room. Still about 100 left. Good layup, if you ask me. I might come down off the hill back there. Kicked right. It's still just left of the green, though. So Nick was about 25 yards short here. Uh, he's in front of the green, 25 yards short. As we were talking about the greens, you see that big sand, sand spot right there. Jacob just off the green, right about pin high. Got a little chip. This would be to save bogey. He just rolled out to the right. He's got to go up on the hill. Can we get some hearts in the comments for his outfit outfit today? Got the gray on blue. Blue blue shoes. A little short. About a four foot tap in here. Nice. Jacob for double. Good putt. Nice. So this is the fifth hole here. It's a par four. Okay, 400 from the tips. If you see that bunker, that's still too left of where the green is. So it's pretty much straight right from that bunker. You go over the bunker, there's a huge hill going downhill. Yeah, so essentially you just want to get it out there in the middle of the fairway. It'll roll down towards the green. Nick got it within like 20 yards last time by just hitting it left of that bunker so let's see what he can do here yeah it's gonna be perfect if it rolls get over the bunker it's over i think okay well it's probably gonna be near the green again jacob's gonna try to do the same thing as that i think that was a really good line uh he's about 365 from the white tees smashed that's drifting right. I think that's gonna be really good too. We might have two balls close to the green on this one if they run out. So we played this hole absolutely perfect. This is that giant hill we were talking about and we both just put it right up there on the hill and it just rolled down forever. Jacobs is right here, uh, just across the bunker from the green and I'm up there to the left. Those drives were both probably like 350, 360. Eagle chip here for Jacob. Get over. Oh, made it across the bunker, but stayed up on the hill. Nick's eagle chip here. Left it a little short. Roll onto the green. That's gonna count as a putt. Terrible shots from us both after gorgeous tee shots. Jacob's got a long way still left for birdie, as do I. Oh, that looks good. Oh, just past the hole. That was a great shot. Dang, Nick. Dude, I thought I made a birdie. Good par. What a birdie this would be. It's going to be low. Good speed. Oh, it hit the pin. It came back at the very end. Nick has just the same putt as I just hit pretty much. Oh, my gosh. It came back at the very end. 
I said it's gonna be just low and then it's, it cut back. Just a formality there. I've never seen Nick miss one of those in my life. So we're here at the par 3 sixth from the tips. You probably can't even see it's playing 216. We have the interstate right there, so if you hear a lot of cars, I'm sorry. On the next hole, you'll definitely hear, hear cars too as it comes back this way. But yeah, I mean, let's see if Nick can get it close here. I don't even know if I can hit my driver 216. Nick's probably, what are you hitting, a four iron? Yeah. Four iron pins at the back, probably landed a little short, let it roll out. If I hit this good, it'll get there. Which he, he never hits it bad, so. Bad two holes again. It's a Swatson guarantee that he's going to be tapping birdie right here. He told me before he got out, it's a Swatson guarantee for a tap-in birdie. I'm not approving that one. Oh, that's going to be in the bunker. It might go right, more right than the bunker. Hit a tree over there. It's going to be right of the bunker. Jacob has 187. He's going to hit three hybrids. He hit that super solid, but it's going way right. We're in the same place. Yeah, we might be right next to each other. Friends. We both hit well right of the green. Jacob's found his. He's going to hit first. Pin is just behind me. That almost took my head off. And he's over the green. All right, so Nick here got the same shot. My ball was sitting in a divot, so I'm already not good, and you put me in a divot, and that's what happens. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. That's great from there. That wasn't a good, or a, an easy angle. So he's got, like, I don't know, 10 feet for par uphill. Jacob will try to get up and down now for bogey. This green is going to come downhill. back over the other side. Didn't roll all the way down though. This will be a much easier chip coming back up. This is for double bogey and he focused through the annoying noise in the background. Uh, missed it high. That'll be a triple. All right for Nick's par here. Just a little tap in. I'd say the tour average is like 98%. The Nick average is 100%. Just a little short. It's gonna be a tap in bogey. All right, again, sorry for the interstate. Um, we have a par five seventh here, 515 yards from the tips. Nick's gonna be hitting driver. Ninety-seven for Jacob. This hole goes a little to the right. Oh, not that far right. I think we'll be able to find it though. Jacob was able to find his. It's barely in balance. Oh, that'll be fine. In the fairway now. Nick, second shot into the par five with all of the interstate onlookers and hecklers 217 he's going to be hitting a three hybrid wow. it's going to be a just fun layup yeah it's going to be right side of the green maybe a little bit short easy up and down for birdie nice chip out into the fairway he's got 156 remaining he's going to hit a three hybrid again another layup. Yeah, it's fine. Jacob will be hitting first. He's got probably like 30 or 40 yards. Oh, hit it just a little hard. Decent look at par though. All right, Nick's chip out there in front of the bunker. Look at that 438 time. Y'all don't know about Nick, but he was about to be a slot receiver. Runs about a 4-2 but chose golf instead. Oh, 
It'll bounce so soft. Just off the green there. Jacob to save par. He's got about 12 feet. Comes downhill. I think it'll break to the right, maybe. Perfect speed, just a little out under the hole. And he'll have bogey. Nick here to save par. No, Nick here for birdie. Got a little tap in there for par. If you're enjoying this video, put a heart in the, the comment section for Nick. The eighth hole plays, uh, the tee box is on the interstate. 356 yard par four, Nick's hitting a three wood. We're in the middle of traffic here. Oh, so pure. That's gonna be left of the bunker, straight down the fairway, beautiful. Yeah. We're about 10 yards closer for Jacob. He actually dodged a couple cars to make it up here to the tee box. I think that'll hang on. Yeah, that'll be good. Just left of the bunker too. Good shot. Jacob has 156 of the hole here in the fairway. He gets a seven iron from this distance about 70% of the time. This time is one of those times. be good short. no it's short kicked left but still well short of the green so Nick's three wood here went 271 and the funny thing about that is it was so high that when it hit on the ground it just stopped it didn't really roll anywhere so that's pretty much all carry 121 yards left he's hitting a gap wedge oh beautifully struck from a bad lie there I would have not liked to hit out of that yeah I mean he's got like 10 feet uphill that's that's ideal for birdie. You can be my caddy when I go on the senior tour. I'm just going to try to hit it low, run it up there, up the hill a little bit. At least that's what I tell myself. How, long, how far are you? Jacob has about 50 yards left of the hole. A lot of green to work with. He's got 60 degree in hand. That might be good. Hey, it rolled just past the hole. I think he's going to have a short putt though. So Nick has a little bit further than I thought, probably 30 feet or so. I probably wouldn't even put it outside the hole anywhere. That looks pretty dang free. Especially going uphill. Yeah. Dead straight. <laughs> Got a tap in par there. Definitely didn't break it off. No. It didn't break it. I told you, dude, keep inside the hole. That probably is going in. Jacob to finish with a nice par. Thinks it's going to go just a tiny bit right to left. Oh, oh no. God? Oh no, he saw a wasp. Ah, missed it low. Wow. That'll be another bogey. The par five ninth here, which will be the last hole of the video, plays 569 yards. It goes over the water to the left. He's going after this one, he said. Oh, best drive of the day. Perfect. Nick here is going to lay up to about, I don't know, 190 ahead, hitting a six iron. You can see the green over that water to the left. That's going to be a perfect layup in front of the water. Have himself a look over water, which if you watched last video, you know how that goes. Uh, but we won't put that in his head right now. Jacob hit a great drive here. He's about 270 to the hole. But with the water up there, he's just going to hit an 8 iron and try to lay up. Bend to the right. Up. Jacob has about 165. He's going to hit three hybrid. Ball's a little bit above his feet. Oh, that could be good. He's on. And it's going to slow down. It'll. Oh, it rolls over the back. Nick here over the water, 159 yards. My guess is he's going to hit an 8 iron. 
<laughs> I'm applying for my future caddy job. Yep, he's gonna end on an eagle here from uh, 159 yards. Oh, pin high. Beautiful. Jacob stayed dry, just rolled over the green. It was close to a really good shot if he would have stayed up here. Not enough. <laughs> Left is short again. Of course, my uh, third chip of the day that I leave a foot away from breaking down a hill. Nick's got like 30 feet or so for a uh, birdie. Oh, <laughs> left it on the high side. Little tap in par. Did you make a birdie today? Nope. Birdie less Nick. I don't know when the last time that happened was. Jacob to save bogey here. Too uh, hard. Pretty tough round for us today, honestly. Uh, Jacob finished with 49 and I shot a 39. I didn't have a single one putt or a single birdie today. And that kind of sums up my round. I just didn't play very well. Uh, Jacob, how do you think you did? Played average. I played like I always do. I'm just very bad. But this channel is about trying to get better for both of us. So we'll have some bad days. We'll have some good days. But And Jacob will shoot 100 every day. <laughs> those are the three givens with this channel. Um, Facts. But thanks for watching another up and down video. We'll be back with another match play video soon. I know those are highly anticipated by everyone, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> But uh, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to us for all our content that's coming up in the future. And we'll see you guys next time.